Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys a few tips and tricks when compositing using After Effects. So I'm going to show you guys how to uh, take any digital elements that you created say in 3ds Max or in Blender or any other 3D uh, package, how to composite that onto uh, live action footage. So first of all I've got a video here that I'm going to drag into After Effects. Then I also have a uh, still frame of a teapot that I created in 3ds Max and obviously I matched the perspective of the footage in 3ds Max to get it to line up and all of that. So I'm going to drag my footage into a new composition and it's just a, a static shot of my desk and then I created the teapot um, that actually sits on top of the, the desk and I've also added the shadow uh, in 3ds Max. So first of all, when you bring this um, into After Effects, you can see it doesn't look too bad, but if we zoom in a bit and look at it closer, uh, first of all, you'll see that the teapot is just too sharp for the footage, and you'll also see that it's too saturated. It doesn't really match with the color of the footage. And then another thing, if I play this back while zoomed in, I don't know if you will uh, pick this up on uh, YouTube, but we've got some um, noise or some grain on our footage, and we need to try and match that on uh, the digital component as well. Okay, so let's start uh, compositing. And first of all, we're gonna look at the saturation of our teapot and try and match that with the footage. So we're gonna add a tint effect to the teapot. So right click effects and go to color correction and go down to tint. And uh, then we're gonna just change the amount of tint to around, let's say around 25%. So you just need to, to match that um, saturation, try and match it with your, your actual footage. Okay, secondly, we're going to look at the sharpness of our teapot. So let's just zoom in here a little bit again. And you can see that the footage is um, not as sharp as the, the teapot currently. So we're going to add a blur effect to the teapot. So right click on the teapot, go to effects, blur and sharpen, and we're just going to add a fast blur. Okay, and let's try two. Um, let's see how that looks. A little bit better, but I think it's a little bit too much uh, blur on that currently. So let's change it to 1.5 and you can see that is looking a lot better. So it's kind of matching uh, the sharpness of the footage. If I disable that, let's look at the difference. So that's without any blur and that's with blur. So it's just fitting uh, into our scene a lot better. Okay, thirdly, we're going to try and match the, the noise or the grain from the footage onto our teapot. So right click on the teapot layer, go to effects. And we're going to go to noise and grain, and then we're going to choose match grain. So the cool thing about this uh, effect is you can actually select a noise source layer, and it will uh, look at the noise in that layer, and it will apply it to your current layer. So for the noise source layer, we're going to select our footage, which is uh, this one. And then we're going to change the viewing mode to final output. And that's just going to give us a full preview of the, the noise uh, on our teapot. And again, I don't know if you'll see the noise on YouTube, but let's just play this back quickly. I'm just going to render a few frames. So if I play this back, you can actually see some noise on the teapot and it's matching the noise perfectly with our uh, footage, which is really great. So on the match noise um, effect, you can also go into tweaking and you can tweak the noise here, like the intensity, the size, the softness, all of those things. But usually I find that uh, just with matching it with the actual layer, it works really great. So no need to tweak it. So I'm just going to play back a uh, section of the video again. And you can see it's matching pretty well. Saturation is looking good. The uh, sharpness of the teapot matching the footage is also looking good. And we've got some grain going on, which is also nice. So I hope you guys found this uh, tutorial helpful and if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more tutorials, remember to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Cheers, bye. bye.